Hey Big Ian, this is Minnie here. I've got a question. What was the first ever video game? Who created it and why? Hey dude, mind if I change the channel? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm in the middle of a game right now. But I really want to try out my new Time Warp controller. Wait, wait a second. Your what? My new Time Warp controller. Apparently, it lets you time travel through video games. I got it for two bucks from the op shop. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I'll show you. So, you're playing some car racing game from this year, but if we take it back to, say, 2000, you get something like this. Ah, old school. You think that's old school? Let's go back to 1995. Oh, yuck. Am I the grey pixel or the green pixel? <laughs> what about the 1980s, when the first handheld device was invented? Oh, I remember having one of these. All right, enough with this high-tech business. Let's go back to the first ever video game. That's going to take a bit of detective work. To find out about the early days, I had a chat to Simon Wisby. G'day, I'm Ruby. Hi, Ruby, I'm Simon. He's a video game expert who's been in the business a long time. Come through and I'll show you some games. Yeah, cool, let's do it. So, Simon, what were the earliest video games like? Really simple, Ruby. They were just black and white, very simplistic, Minimum sound. Wow. Do you recognise this game? You might know it as Noughts and Crosses, but the original version from 1952 was called OXO. An English computer scientist named Alexander Douglas invented it as part of a university project showing how people and computers could interact. In 1958, this slightly more complicated game, Tennis for Two, was released. As you can see, still not the most exciting graphics. But in the 1980s, it was made famous when it became an arcade video game. It's still one of the most popular of all time. So how is it that video games made it onto the arcade scene? Well, that's really interesting, Ruby. We saw that sort of start happening in the early 80s, where all the fish and chip shops and all the little takeaway stores, chicken shops used to have a pinball and an arcade game. So then they started making dedicated arcades. And that's where you saw um, arcades just wall to wall, full of um, video games, pinball machines, driving simulators. It was huge. But like all good things, that came to an end. As games came out that you could play at home on the couch, fewer people felt the need to visit arcades. But that doesn't mean it's game over for all these machines. Simon says they're back in fashion. OK, I have one more question. Mm -hmm. Can we play a game? Absolutely. Yes. You, you pick it. All right. Oh man, another tie. Oh, that was so close. This game is so underrated. <laughs>